David Seidler, best known as the Oscar-winning screenwriter behind the film The King's Speech, has died at the age of 86, according to reports. The London-born screenwriter, who had a stammer as a child, was inspired to write about the true story of how King George VI, on the eve of the Second World War, overcame his speech impediment. I accept this on behalf of all the stutterers throughout the world. We have a voice, we have been heard, he said, when collecting his Oscar at the 2011 Academy Awards. The historical drama starred Colin Firth, who also won the Oscar for Best Actor for his portrayal of The King. Seidler was also behind the stage adaptation of the film, which first opened on the West End in 2012. Seidler died on Saturday during a fly fishing trip in New Zealand, according to his manager Jeff Agassi, US media reported. Mr Agassi said, David was in the place he loved most in the world, New Zealand, doing what gave him the greatest peace, which was fly fishing. His other work included the 1988 biopic Onassis, The Richest Man in the World, starring Raoul Julia as the Greek shipping magnate Aristotle Onassis, for which Seidler won his first Writers Guild Award. The same year Seidler co-wrote Francis Ford Coppola's comedy drama Tucker, The Man and His Dream. Other projects included writing for the animated children's musicals The King and I, Quest for Camelot and Madeleine, Lost in Paris. He is survived by his two adult children, Mark and Maya.